Hey everyone, Asha here. So we got a special video for you today. It's a little late, but I'll be going over the patch notes from July 1st. Some pretty hype fucking uh, updates that we got coming to Mewa. Uh, so we're going to go into Succession and then Awakening. So we'll start off with Succession first and go from there. Alright, so with the succession changes, Blind Slash is the first one up. Basically, they removed the stamina cost um, and made it WP instead. This is pretty significant. Um, they need to do more like this, but uh, this is a step in the right direction. Next, we have Mewa's Will. This change basically allows you to enter Red Blade um, if you have two petals. The text on it is kind of weird. Um, they basically say you get one additional petal, but basically it just means you get Red Blade. It will still cancel Red Blade if you use Mewa's Will after. Now here we got an awesome change. Whirlwind Cut will now cancel Red Moon, it both in Normal Red Moon and Ascension to Heaven Red Moon, so that's pretty fucking pog. They also fixed Ascension to Heaven, so now it cancels with everything like Sticky Snowflake. Whirlwind Cut and uh, Stigma, but currently the Stigma one is bugged. Alright, that was it for the succession. Now we'll get into the awakening changes. Um, first things, we got the Q block. It now gives 20 DP for 10 seconds. Uh, this is a really nice change. Uh, it's basically a quality of life change, so to speak. If you use Red Moon, you'd get a 20 DP for 20 seconds, which is really long and pretty consistent to keep up. But with the Q block, it just allows it to be more consistent now. Then we got Ice Fang. This one's a massive change. Basically, Ice Fang gives attack speed, cast speed, and movement speed debuffs now. Um, so that's really great. Uh, we've never really had that before um, because Sticky Snowflake was not realistic to use. The AoE range on the hit, though, because it's only on the first hit, is very small, so um, hopefully they change it so you can get the second hit to apply it. Alright, so now we got Sticky Snowflakes change. They added the 15% accuracy bonus that for 10 seconds. This applies to basically all your skills. You can pre-buff with it. So it's on cast and not requiring a hit. And then you can stack it with your e-buff. It's pretty insane, honestly. On top of that, we have the Moonrise change, where basically they added a minus 9% evasion debuff. Stacking that with Sticky Snowflake is just crazy uh, anti-evasion. Here we have Oppression. It has a minus 30 DP shred. Uh, this is normally a minus 20 DP shred, so this is nice. Frostflower got a 25% crit buff for PvP only. It naturally has a 50 crit buff for PvE. Petal Bloom got a PvP damage increase of roughly 20% total, and this also affects Moonlight Dash, so that's pretty significant, especially our e-buff. Alright, so now we'll get into the Red Moon aspect, so just showing that uh, Ascension to Heaven um, cancels now work uh, perfectly fine, so you can use Ascension to Heaven now, so that's nice. I didn't show it in this particular example, but you can actually use Shift Q from Awakening and not worry about it not being able to cancel. So no longer needing the hotbar. And now we'll get into the coolest shit that they've done in a long time, and that's Blue Moon. Blue Moon is basically just Red Moon, but it's from Awakening Stance. And you can still cancel it and do all the normal things that you could normally do with Red Moon. It's just you're staying in Awakening, which is awesome. And on top of that, you can utilize a whole bunch of skills in your Awakening uh, tree 
on the final hit so it's smooth so clean for example like chase q block um all our skills like uh, uh frost pillar tip of the iceberg um you can use uh petal bloom petal bloom 100 um you can use moonrise you can use everything the only thing you can't use is petal drill and that's because if you use left click or shift left click it ends up doing cloud stab but that's okay um, honestly, you could sleep um, out of the Red Moon and do Drill, so that's perfectly fine. I don't see an issue with that. Um, but yeah, no, this this change is fucking awesome. I'm pretty excited about this, honestly. All these changes are really amazing. Um, Succession, unfortunately, kind of got lackluster changes, more quality of life changes that they really needed, but uh, they, they still need to do a lot more to get Succession up... Uh, to snuff with the meta and they really need to address uh meiwa iframe um give us like sleet step iframe for awakening and then give us like stigma iframe on the backward movement for succession they really need to do that but uh these are definitely really positive changes um we'll see uh if they stick if they don't nerf them Little bonus clip here. I managed to grab a uh, clip from a KR streamer that was grinding on a wing. Uh, you can see the new uh, blue moon in action. Kind of looks like uh, Mewa 100% petal bloom, so it's pretty interesting. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. Can't wait to test them out myself. Alright, everyone. Have a good one.